Hey everyone, welcome back to the Toll Tribe channel. Thanks for stopping by. I am so excited for today's video because I'm finally gonna be taking you guys on a tour of Josiah's modern black and white outer space themed nursery. down my favorite room in the house this was by far my favorite project to work on since we've lived in this house I really really did enjoy every second of putting this room together and I really did take my time with it to find the pieces that I like regardless of gender we knew that the nursery was gonna be a black and white room with a pop of color somewhere our upstairs in our house is a very very small it's basically you walk up the stairs there's a landing and then there's two doors and the two doors are our master bedroom and then Josiah's room and we have a black and white color palette going on in our master bedroom so we knew that we didn't want to do anything too colorful in here. We kind of wanted to go with the same colors um, so that the upstairs kind of felt cohesive. I know that might seem strange to some people, but I really like interior design and I don't like spaces in my house to feel drastically different. I like when you're moving from room to room for it to feel like you're still in the same house. I was inspired to do an outer space theme by the cover art for my favorite album by my favorite band. It's a band called Brand New. My favorite album by them is Deja and Tendu. So the cover art inspired me because it's like a five fiery orangey red background with like blackbirds in the distance and then in the forefront of it is an astronaut just like floating there in this like abysmal weird outer space scene and I always loved that cover art so I wanted to use it somewhere and I didn't know how to use it in our house and then I was like the nursery that would be perfect we can do black and white outer space modern feel um, and then add that in for a pop of color and I love the way that everything turned out let's just Let's just get into the tour. So Josiah's nursery might be small in comparison to like other nurseries. Um, I feel like this is the perfect size for a nursery. Personally, I don't like rooms that are like too, too big. I like rooms that are a little bit more cozy. Um, the only problem I have with this room is that every single wall in this room has like a door or a window on it. So directly behind me, this is the wall that his crib is on, and we'll get to that, but you have the door that you enter his nursery from. And then right to your left, you have his bookshelf. Now, I shopped and shopped and shopped and shopped for a bookshelf for this nursery. It took me a really long time. I think I actually vlogged about like a shopping trip that I took where I went to like literally 20 different stores to find a bookshelf. I could not find one anywhere. Um, this bookshelf is actually from West Elm and I got it on sale. I forget how much it is. I think it's like a 200 and something dollar bookshelf. I got it for like 190 bucks or something like that on sale. So totally worth it for me. It's like a leaning ladder bookshelf. Um, it is bolted into the wall um, and we probably will even reinforce it again once he's moving. As you can see on the top shelf, we just have you know a little stuffed animal. We bought this at the hospital. Um, and then this is like a little faux plant that I got at Target just to add some like greenery. You'll see that in the black and white room, it's black and white. Um, with natural wood to kind of warm things up a bit and then um, a lot of like kind of brassy gold accents throughout the room. So love that. And then over here, this little trinket is just a little Eiffel Tower um, like glitter globe that we picked up when we were in Paris. And I thought this would be a cute place to put it. And then this is just a card that my brother and my sister-in-law gave us. Um, I thought it was cute, I like the confetti, so I just kind of threw it up there. But eventually this will get switched out to like a picture frame that has like his newborn pictures or like family photos. So for the second shelf, we have his letter board sign. We use this for all of our family building updates throughout our adoption journey, and now we use it for his monthly pictures. Um, I just have a cute little pair of like moccasin shoes. And then we have his little alien stuffed animal that he got for Easter. 
Um, we don't have a ton of books. I can't wait until life is back to normal and I can go out to the store and buy him a bunch of books because I really enjoy reading to him and I think he enjoys it too, but we've kind of gone through like every book on our bookshelf like three times at this point. But we just have a couple of books here um, and then he got this little wooden toy for Easter and I just have it here because he's a little bit too young to play with it still. Llama slippers, just because I literally have nowhere else to put them. <laughs> then on the shelf, we have more books, and these stone book ends are like the cut stone. I'm obsessed with these. I love how like sparkly and all the veining and the colors in it is absolutely perfect. Um, I ordered a set from Amazon and then had to return them because there just like wasn't enough color variation and like veining in them. And then when I ordered these from Amazon, they were like perfect. So super happy with that purchase. And there's a lot of room on the shelf for the books to grow and I will continue to stack books up this way. And on the bottom shelf, we just have these two bins. These are actually from the container store. I love that they're natural jute woven in with black jute. It kind of just goes with the theme perfectly and they were actually on sale when I bought them. So that was a score. And we just put two of them here. This one just has a couple of stuffed animals in it. And then this one just has a couple of toys the cards for his little activity gym, um, you know, his little New Jersey state rattle that he's got, just a little bunch of stuff and at playtime, I'll like pull that out and pull things out for him to play with. Now on the other side of his bookshelf, I have this gold wire like rainbow slash faces of the moon piece. Um, and I love that it has little hanging hooks on the bottom of it. So it's functional as well as decorative. Um, and right now I just have a couple of little like hoodies hung up on it for quick grabbing if we're going out for a walk. And then this um, knit onesie is super special. We had his name knit onto it. It's what he wore when he came home from the hospital. And I will likely get this um, framed in like a shadow box and, and keep it as a keepsake. But for now, I just have it hanging on his little hook right here. And then down below that, I have his laundry basket where I throw any of his dirty clothes or towels or swaddles from the day. This usually has a lot more stuff in it, but I just did laundry yesterday. So there's like three things in here. Bless up. Any moms with newborns know that you do laundry literally every other day. So over here on this wall, we have Josiah's double dresser. This area also serves as a changing station because we have the Kikaroo peanut changer up here. I knew that I wanted a double dresser instead of a changing table or one of those like three drawer kind of smaller dresser changer combos. Um, just because I wanted this to grow with him. I wanted to have space to store all of his stuff from now until he's much older. Um, and this piece actually cost me $30, this dresser. I bought it at a sample sale. I used to work for a company that manufactured nursery furniture. And this was a piece that had been sitting in the warehouse for years. It was from um, an adult line of furniture that they were working on launching that never really took off. Um, and it had been sitting there. And when I saw it on sale, I was like, hey, can I buy that? And they were like, sure, 30 bucks. So I bought it, it was perfect. This is such a sturdy piece of furniture. Like they don't make furniture like this at all anymore. This dresser didn't have any holes for hardware drilled into it. There was no hardware. So I got to pick all of the hardware out. I went with these really large black bar poles. I bought them at Home Depot and then added them on myself. I didn't have to stain it or paint it or anything because it went with our black and white and natural wood theme like perfectly. This piece was a great find because it is so solid and sturdy. Like if this doesn't go to like the next baby's nursery and then stays with Josiah, this will transition with him all the way to like his first apartment. I'm not gonna take you through any of the drawers today because I wanna go through a nursery organization video separate from this, um, but I'll take you through all the stuff we have up top. Um, and the artwork. So this big picture here is just a phases of the moon piece. Um, I can't remember where I got this. If I remember where I ordered these, I will link them down below. But basically I just found an online company where you submit your own JPEG art file and pick your frame and they mat it and print it and send it to you. Um, and then this is the artwork that I was talking about before. Um, the cover art for my favorite band, brand new. This is just the astronaut floating in like this orangey abyss. I love it. It brings a much needed pop of color into the nursery because as you're going to see, there is a lot of black and white. Um, and so this brings in that orangey kind of rust tone and um, I don't have as much of that tone in here currently as I want but I will be adding it as time goes like I don't think that this is a hundred percent complete for me this room but I wanted to share it before he was like three years old because the perfectionist in me if I waited until it was all done perfectly you would never see it and these little servers pieces are from Target but these are a wedding gift 
Um, many, many years ago, we have them in different places in our house. They've moved all over the place. Now I'm gonna walk you through what we have on top of the dresser. This is the Kikaru Changing Peanut. I had this in my newborn favorites video. I absolutely love this. This is super easy to like wipe down and clean after you change a messy diaper. Um, we just have a little bottle of hand sanitizer, which I know right now, the current state of the world, this is a hot commodity, almost empty too. <laughs> but this is what we had on hand. Um, I just had this wipe warmer, Josiah hates hates, hates having his diaper changed um, and he screams bloody murder. And so my mom sent this over for him. Um, I think it helps a little, but for the most part, he still really hates having his diaper changed. We just have his diaper changing pacifier. Um, in my baby favorites video, I mentioned that we keep pacifiers all over the house for this kid. I was not kidding. Now this little caddy is from Pottery Barn Kids. I love that it's acrylic. I'm a big fan of acrylic pieces. Um, and then it has the brass piece at the bottom to kind of tie it in. This piece is kind of pricey for a little diaper caddy. Um, I'm not proud of how much I spent on this, but I really did get a lot of the pieces in this nursery on sale or for really great prices, like the dresser only being $30. So spending, I think I spent like $50 on this, maybe 40, I probably had a coupon, but it, it's, it's a lot of money, but it kind of balances out with how much I saved in other areas. So I just keep diapers in here. He's still a newborn right now. I keep a couple of like flannel blankets. I use these as like burp rags, um, or if it's kind of chilly in here, I'll put them down on here. If I know it's just like a pee, -pee diaper so that he's a little bit more warm. Again, he hates it. Try to make him comfortable. Um, and then I have his nose freed up back here. And then I just keep his little products here. So he has his Mustela cleansing water, his Mustela um, lotion. This is his Mustela face lotion, um, his little scalp oil for his flaky scalp. And then this is just a brush. Um, it's a little wooden brush. And I keep it in here because it's easier to stand, but it is actually really pretty. I do wish I could like display it in here, but for easy storing and just leave it in the box. And then last but not least, we have a um, container of Dapple all-purpose wipes. These are what I use to like wipe down his changing pad or the dresser. All right, now showing you this area is gonna be a little bit tricky because there's a big double window right here, which is gonna make the lighting kind of wonky. Hopefully it's not too, too bad. Um, but like I said, there's literally a window or a door on every wall in this, in this room. So this is where the double window is. I'm glad that it's not centered on this wall because then it would make putting furniture on this wall literally impossible. But because I was running out of space, putting the glider in this corner was the only place I could put it. And as you can see, there's a sliding closet door right behind it. So it's got a window on one side, closet door on the other side. This wall behind me is actually not usable because there's a sliding closet door here and then another one right over here. So this wall was pretty much not usable, but he didn't need so much closet space. So this side of the closet is our extra closet. We throw extra stuff in there. So we have suitcases in there. We have out of season clothes in there, like stuff like that. Um, and so they're things that we're not reaching for every day. So that's why I was able to put the glider here because we don't go in that closet all that often. So I'll get a close up shot of this glider for you so that you can see the fabric because it's really pretty and kind of luxe considering that this was just a Delta glider I bought off of Amazon. Um, I think I bought it for less than $300. I got it when it was on sale one day. Um, and I really like it. It's really comfortable. My only complaint is that I wish the arms came up like a tiny bit higher. But other than that, I'm very comfy in this chair. It's smaller than other gliders that I've seen, which I needed because I don't have a ton of space right here in this corner. Um, and then right here behind all of our sleeping dogs, because this is their favorite place, like in the entire house. Um, I just have this black like phases of the moon pillow that I actually picked up at Target. Um, back when it was back to school time, they had it out as like a college dorm piece. And I was like, perfect. So I snagged that and then on here, I just have this little faux fur. It's like a faux fur like throw rug. Um, but I keep it here because the dogs constantly want to lay on this chair and I don't want them to ruin this really light, pretty fabric. So I put this here because this I can throw out. I can wash it if I need to. I'm not so worried about them ruining this over the chair. I do think this glider has a matching ottoman, but I wasn't so interested in having so many matchy, matchy pieces. So I actually picked up this um, kind of Moroccan style poof from, I think Wayfair. 
Yeah, you think Wayfair. Um, and we have a gold one downstairs in our living room. Um, and I watched this like a hawk because these can be really expensive. And I didn't want to spend over $100. I think I spent just under $100 on it. But to me, it was worth it. And I was really, really, really excited to add this in. It is like the perfect leather. And while this is not like the rust orange color, I feel like this tone of leather kind of brings in that more orangey red tone and adds like a pop of color into the super neutral room. This is just so you can get a better idea of the color. I think this color was called sand. It's very neutral, very light, but has kind of like darker tan fibers woven within it. It's really, really pretty. Adds a really nice kind of natural element and texture to the room, which I love because it keeps modern from feeling a really kind of like cold and contrived. This is the little side table that we chose to put next to the glider. This isn't exactly what I had in mind for this piece, but when I saw it, I really, really liked it. Um, and the reason it wasn't exactly what I had in mind is because it has like a glass, a mirrored glass top, and that makes me a little bit nervous. In a nursery, um, I really tried to stay away from having glass. Um, there were a lot of bookcases that I liked, um, but I opted not to get them because they had glass shelves. So this I'm a little bit iffy about. It's fine for now, because obviously he's not moving, but the first time I see any kind of danger happening with this piece, it will get switched out for something that we deem safer. Um, but for now, this is what's in here. I love like the brass accents on it, goes with the accents in the nursery. Um, the reason I was cool with this mercury glass top is because it kind of reminded me of the moon and craters on the moon, and that's why I went with it. But up here, we just keep another pacifier because again everywhere um, we have this little gold frame that says family um, and we just have a picture from Josiah's newborn shoot in there and then this lamp actually used to be one of the lamps on our side table in our bedroom but we switched those out a little while ago and I saved these I actually have a really hard time finding a lamp for the nursery that I liked and so this just got put here because we needed a light and I just changed out did I change this? I did change out the top of the, the shade um, to be square. And I don't know, I'm probably not gonna change it just because I feel like it's not that big of a deal, but um, that's why this is here. And then this is just a little white barn candle. It's um, eucalyptus mint, which I find to be a very relaxing scent. Um, and I used to light it all the time when this was my office. I have not lit it since it was a nursery. I probably will not light it as a nursery, but it's just there for decor. This was really difficult to show on camera, but these are the curtains we have in the room right now. They just have these little white pom-poms on the end of them and they're very, very sheer. Um, these curtains are in here just because this is what I had in here when this was my office. Um, we likely will have to change these out for blackout shades when he does start napping and sleeping in here. They hear blackout shades save your life um, during daytime naps and such. So we will likely be switching them out, but for now, that's what we have in here. This is our current nursery rug. The reason I say current is because I am currently in the market for a new one. I absolutely love the pattern of this rug. Like that is not the problem for me. I am obsessed with the pattern. I love the colors. Got it for like $100. I was so so happy with it because it really does give me like West Elm vibes or like Crate and Barrel Kids vibes and um, I, I was all about it. But the problem with this rug is the material it's made out of and the way that it sheds. It sheds non-stop. It gets all over your socks. It gets all over your clothes if you sit down on the floor. So like it's not a rug that I could ever just like put him down on because he would be covered in rug fibers. Also because the black threads from the little polka dots shed onto the ivory part of the rug, it makes the rug look dirty constantly. Like I'm constantly trying to vacuum it and vacuuming it doesn't even get it all up. You really have to run your hand over it and go like this to get all of the fibers up and make like a ball of them and throw them out and it's super annoying. But again, I just, it's, I don't want a rug that I have to work so hard <laughs> to maintain in here. So we're likely going to get rid of this rug and replace it. And I'm trying to replace it with something that is a very, very similar pattern. Um, but not the same material. All right guys, last but not least, my favorite part of the entire nursery. This is the feature wall that has all of the constellations on it. Um, we wanted to put a feature wall behind the crib. We knew we were gonna do that. Um, we were initially thinking peel and stick wallpaper, but after doing that in um, our dining room downstairs, we were like, we don't ever wanna do that again. Um, so I chose to do 
decals, like stick on little decals, um, thinking that would be easier and it was not. That was still very hard. It definitely didn't apply the constellation decals probably appropriately or how they appear in outer space. I kind of just like turned them and, and made them work however I liked the way they looked arranged on the wall. Um, that was probably the hardest part for me because I'm so like OCD about proper spacing and then having the right amount of dots without it looking super contrived because as you can see there's like little dots in between. I had to like individually place all of those. So this whole thing took me a really long time to do, but I'm super, super proud of how it came out. I bought them off of Etsy. I will link the shop down below. I also knew I wanted a mirror in the room, likely a round mirror. I bought this one at Target. It just has that nice brass frame around it. And then this room doesn't have any like built-in ceiling lighting. Um, so if we didn't put lights here, the only light we were gonna have is that little lamp I showed you on the side table. Um, and I knew that I wanted lights that flipped on and off with the switch um, and in order for something to flip on and off of the switch I have to have it plugged into an outlet that's back there that's closer to the floor and so I installed these guys um, these are from world market these little globe sconces and I just bought like bright the vintage light bulbs off of Amazon to put in there so that we get a lot of bright light instead of like warm light because I like things white light and bright um, and so I put those in there and these were super easy to mount um, and obviously I didn't have to electrically wire anything. They have cords. Um, you can also like turn them on and off by the cord if you didn't have them plugged into a outlet connected to a switch. I'm totally obsessed with the crib that we picked for this nursery. This is the Baby Leto Lolly Crib in the black and natural slats. Now these natural slats are a little bit more whitewashed than the natural tone of the dresser which is a little bit more like warm wooden. Um, and so it, it does clash a little bit, but for me, they're far enough apart um, in the nursery that it doesn't bother my eye. Like if they were right next to each other, I think it would bother me. I love the black crib. It's kind of hard to find a black crib, guys. They're not like just all over the place. <laughs> and so I knew that, that was gonna be a challenge. Um, but I'm really, really glad that we ended up with this crib and I absolutely love it. I love island cribs. I love the modern feel of this crib and I love that it's slatted all the way around and that the, the side panels are not solid. This way he can kind of see through any which way. And then it's kind of hard to see, but it has like a mid-century modern like peg leg that matches the slats down below. This crib is convertible. It converts to a toddler bed, so you can add on a guardrail and then you can take the guardrail off when you don't need that anymore. I knew I didn't want a four-way convertible crib, which are the cribs that have the higher backboards um, and they convert to full-size beds typically. Um, the reason why I didn't want one is just because I don't feel like my kids need a full-size bed. I didn't get a full-size bed until I was like 19 or 20 years old. Less room for activities that way. I slept in a twin most of my life. So they probably will too. <laughs> and so I just didn't feel like I needed that. My mom bought this crib for us as a gift, but she bought it when it was on sale on Amazon during their like Amazon flash sale that they do in the summer. Um, so we got this for a really good price. And that's why I said, like I shopped sale for a lot of the stuff in the nursery. So I don't really think I paid full price for anything in here. I like to buy mismatch pieces because it's a way for me to get a really cool, like eclectic feel in a room, but it's also less expensive to do it that way. It can be really pricey to buy a matching set of nursery furniture. This crib sheet is from Pottery Barn Kids. I bought it a couple of weeks ago um, and I really love it. This is their brush stroke pattern. It also comes in white and gray. Um, I just really love like the organicness of like the dots and how they're not all uniform and they're kind of just like crazy and all over the place. Over here, I just have like this micro fleece slash shearling um, blanket. My mom bought that for him um, and so I just keep that there. Um, on the rare occasion that I lay him down in here, um, like let's say I'm doing something in the nursery and I just need to place him down, I'll throw that down and then put him on top of it because I don't want him ruining the sheet yet and he is in full spit up mode right now. So that's all we've got going on for Josiah's black and white modern outer space themed nursery. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions 
questions about any of the things that I've showed you. Um, I'm gonna try to link things down below, but if I forget something and you wanna know where it's from, just leave me a comment down below. I will send you a link. I'll try to find it for you or something similar if I can't find the exact thing online. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more content from us in the future. If you have subscribed, you can click that little notification bell. That'll let you know whenever we upload a video, which is two times a week on Mondays and Thursdays. And I'll see you guys in our next one. Bye.